Ri buongiorno. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, we have uh, on this round table uh, a very important task uh, to discuss. And I think that the task is to try to respond to the challenge that those three uh, individuals have given to us. And the challenge is what can be done in order to uh, take out the uh, the Italian uh, research uh, and uh, innovation activity from a age of stagnation, uh, from a prolonged period of uh, uh, slowdown and slow activity. Uh, I suggest that, uh, uh, I think that the, the, the four of us have already been introduced by uh, Giustina Magistretti very kindly, and uh, I would like to give my own small contribution as a, uh, as a moderator, uh, uh, maybe in the form of a comment to what uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these three interviews have provided. And then I think we would, each of us will probably have some, uh, you know, five or six minutes to present something or to provide their views, after which I would very much like to open the discussion uh, to, to all of us because I believe that uh, the spirit of ISNAF is very much a spirit of uh, 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 condivisione, uh, of sharing of ideas, and uh, because I think that this annual event of ISNAF has the main purpose of uh, uh, providing, receiving input, receiving input from, uh, from all of you. Uh, it is always good to see that there is an intense participation. America is a large country. Coming to Washington is not a big, uh, is not a small, uh, a small fate. So thank you very, very much for being here uh, and uh, for uh, participating in this. Are we? We're just asking to have a technical support to check. The. Let me, let me start by giving uh, a, a, just a few considerations. Uh, I believe that uh, the, the three intervention by the Minister Carrozza, by uh, Piero Bassetti, and by Francesco Merloni are uh, a cry of help. They are a, a, a desire, a, 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 the, the, they are a signal of, of a very deep malaise. Uh, the fact itself, and I have I, please do not misunderstand, uh, but the fact itself that uh, uh, on one side our new minister of education is, uh, is a robotic scientist uh, and a PhD in, uh, in uh, uh, robotics and biology, uh, the fact itself uh, is, is very good, but it is, uh, it is obviously uh, something completely new compared to the past. On the other side, the fact that the two industry representatives are probably both well over 70 is also an indication of uh, where <laughs> the industry is. 84. 87. 87. So one is 87, the other one is 82. Uh, and, and it is not by chance. There is a gap. I mean, these 20 years of absence have generated a gap. And the gap it means that there is an old generation of entrepreneurs uh, and industrialists uh, that is uh, uh, trying to uh, keep going. Uh, and probably there is a much younger generation of new entrepreneurs and new scientists which is about to come, but there is very little in the middle. Um, Confindustria says that in the past 10 years, 32,000 industry have, 32,000 companies have closed down in Italy with a loss of 15,000 uh, no, 150,000 uh, employment position, I think. Uh, we have, at ISNAF have, have worked for a long time in, in trying to form, uh, to be a bridge between uh, the United States, uh, between the, 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 the Italian diaspora in the United States and, and Italy. Uh, but I think that we have made a mistake, and the mistake is reflected in this uh, uh, sentence up above. We have tried mechanistically to take uh, the model of Silicon Valley and, and translate it to Italy. It is time now uh, to begin thinking on how Italy itself should, should, uh, should, uh, re, um, should restart. I think that uh, there is very strong evidence in Europe 
that uh, 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 the, the transplanting of a model hasn't worked. Uh, and I would like to give you just a few slides, and then I will be over, uh, on, on an interesting document. The Innovation Union Scoreboard is a, a, a annual review performance from from the uh, from the European Union that uh, is uh, um, measuring 25 um, statistics on uh, the quality of research, uh, the uh, quality of the output, and the consequences on the economy. And they have done uh, this for about 10 years. And after 10 years, they have written a document which is called Lessons from a Decade of Innovation Policy. Uh, I have extracted only three or four sentences for, for, from, from, from this document. Uh, one is emphasis put on best practices at the expense of a critical understanding of the specific challenges affecting each country. Uh, which is what I said, taking Silicon Valley and trying to duplicate it without uh, a critical evaluation of what is happening in each country. Uh, and without an informed discussion about the most appropriate ways to address them. Countries should be encouraged to develop their own specific policy models to a much greater degree so that each model represents a unique response to the particular challenges that each country is facing. Uh, this is not a comment on Italy, it is, com it is a comment on Europe, but you can very well see how Italy fits in, in, that, uh, in, that in that comment. The effectiveness of policy requires specific assessment of the innovation capacity of business in the country concerned. In countries where business cannot become equal partner in collaboration, more support for innovation uptake in specific markets should be provided. This is a specific comment about the fact that not in all countries business is reacting in the same way to research. And Italy is one of those countries where this reaction is not taking place. The end is although the availability of skilled people is often cited as one of the key challenges, there has been only a small share of funding devoted to supporting innovation skill development. So uh, Europe is making a self-criticism about the fact that uh, it is not uh, always, um, it doesn't work to just take a model of development such as that of Silicon Valley based on venture capitalists and, 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 and good university and transplant it in another country. You need to develop a much deeper and long-term analysis about the specific aspect of that country. Just to give you two more slides or three more slides, this is the table of the 2013 uh, Innovation Scoreboard of, uh, um, of Europe. Uh, the, 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 the 27 countries of Europe have been divided in four, um, four uh, uh, groups the innovation leaders, the innovation followers, the moderate innovators, and the modest innovators. Italy is here. Uh, so the first four countries are Denmark, Finland, Germany, and Sweden. The second tier countries include uh, and France and the UK, and Italy is together with Malta, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Portugal, Hungary, Spain, and Greece. What is good and what is bad in uh, the scoreboard of Italy? This is, the, this is the, the, the specific 2013 scoreboard of Italy. On the average is the, the, the European average in the middle, and the, the uh, histograms on the right-hand side are the areas in which Italy is better. I know it is difficult to read. This is, for instance, Finland as a comparison. So you can see, the, you know, visualize the difference. Um, the institutional research does well in Italy. I, res I, I summarized the previous table for you. International scientific co-publications are above the European average. Open, excellent, and attractive research systems are above the European average. New doctorate students and graduates are above the European average. So the institutional research works. It, we, are, we produce good science, even if uh, a lot of you have left. We still produce good science but it does not transfer to industry. Venture capital investment is way below the European average. R&D expenditure in the, in the private sector is well below the European average. Innovative SME, SME collaborating with other small companies collaborating among them is well below the European average. Public-private scientific co-publication are well below the European average and pat patent application are well below the European average. Um, I, do, I will stop here. I don't want to go ahead. I can, uh, we, we can probably 
do a second round. And I would like to leave the, uh, the table to uh, uh, Napoleone Ferrara uh, and to uh, Pierluigi Zappacosta and to uh, Professor Zingales for their comments.